everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a very quick look at the 1984 G.I. Joe Flying Submarine, the Shark, and the Diver that came with it, Deep Six. And I've had some requests to review the Shark, and I will do that. The Shark will not be neglected, but hopefully this quick look at it will satisfy for now. The, this is a very unusual vehicle and figure, starting with Deep Six. Deep Six had the least articulation of any vintage G.I. Joe action figure in that he only had two points of articulation at the shoulders. He could swing his arms at the shoulders and that's it. He couldn't move in any other way. And he was permanently encased in this diving suit. But he did have a gimmick. He came with this a pump and hose system and that would plug into his back like so. And you'd use this pump to pump the air out of the diving suit so he would dive underwater. And then you switch it around and pump the air back in and so he would rise back to the surface. Now uh, that's a nice little gimmick, kind of a feature that's pretty cool I guess. Not really my kind of thing, but at least he had that going on for him. Now the shark is supposed to be a flying submarine, so it has both jet and submarine features. But for a submarine and for a jet, it has a lot of sharp edges. It's very angular, very few smooth lines. It has a canopy that opens up to the side with a lot of room in there for the driver, and it needs a lot of room to, to, uh, to carry such a large and clunky action figure. Uh, it has a couple flaps, flaps here at the back that swing around. Uh, it has an engine cover that removes. Uh, it has a couple pop-up guns. You push these tabs on the bottom, pop the guns up on the sides. So it has uh, some additional features, a fair number of features for such a small vehicle. On the underside, uh, it has a couple torpedoes, and these torpedoes, if you remove them, uh, the pegs for the torpedoes are the same as the uh, pegs for the backpacks on the action figure. So you could peg an action figure on these torpedo pegs and actually maybe carry like a diver underneath the shark. So that's a nice little added feature as well. So a good number of features on such a small vehicle, not too bad, uh, but that's all we're going to do for right now. There's a lot more to talk about with this uh, toy, but I'll save that for the full review. Uh, so uh, check back on this channel for more full vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews in the future, and thanks for watching.